Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to discuss the difference between realistic and stylized painting as I perceive them. By realistic painting, I mean painting that tries to capture what we see around us without any embellishment. By contrast, I think of stylized painting as idealized pleasing. I've also come across the term splash art, but I don't think that the term necessarily includes purely stylized painting, so I call it stylized painting in this video. But before the video starts, I will ask you to like this video so that my video can reach more people. Thank you very much. For this video, I prepared two one horror paintings depicting the female figure. Both paintings are in approximately the same position, but with differences that make them realistic or stylized. I have used a photo from Jack Pabstock as a reference for these paintings, and many thanks for providing the reference. Be sure to go check out her website, this is uh, in this video description. She has have some reference for artists. My paintings are not fully detailed or finished, but hopefully there will be enough to demonstrate the ideas I want to tell you. In the first part of the video, I draw a realistic character. The goal is to capture what we see without any embellishment. This is a natural body position without any major idealization or more dynamic stance until sometimes it may not look completely pleasing. At the same time, we are capturing things that society doesn't perceive very positively, such as second skins, wrinkles, veins, or possibly bruises or circles under the eyes. The painting also often shows muscles showing through the skin, tendons, or even a hint of bone. But we also painting more pleasing things like muscular body, soft skins, etc. Just the way it is. The stylized figure has a more dramatic pose and is often oversized in proportion. For example, her waist is narrower, the arch in her back is greater, and her facial expression tend to be more dramatic. This is also reflected in such details as uh, hand gestures. You highlight or exaggerate certain parts to make the idea you want to convey apparent at first glance. The anatomy of the body is then idealized, so that the parts that are pleasing are favored at the expense of the other unpleasant part, which are often neglected or removed altogether. So, in style of the painting, you usually don't see any wrinkles or falls of the skin. On the contrary, if we are talking about a female figure, the bust and buttocks are often enlarged and the waist narrower, the eyes are often enlarged and the lips are fuller. The nose tends to be smaller, the hair has more volume and there is some dramatic movement. Overall, there is an emphasis on stereotypical female elements and uh, the opposite for men, shoulder, strong neck, strong musculature, etc. Often, the drawings are based on the stereotypes or already experienced archetypes. Uh, then, when we look at the closed and her part here, in the stylized painting, the movement is intentionally emphasized. You can see it uh, in the hair and the clothes. The hair has more volume, the skirt is dramatically enlarged and turned up. As far as colors are concerned, the colors in a realistic painting are not that strong. Often the palette is more towards grain, unless there is a strong light sources, for example, direct sunlight. On the other hand, uh, with stylized painting, you often see very vibrant tones of hair color. These are sometimes pushed up on the color scale to make them more visually interesting. So you can show, for example, brown hair with a slightly bluish tinge. Often dramatic light is used here. Here, I use light coming it from the side. It's overall more pleasing and captivating, uh, more width. In this part of the video, I continue to paint the faces in more detail. I start with the realistic one and then move on to the stylus one. I may have gone a little overboard with the elements with the realistic one. Poor model. <laughs> 
<laughs> she didn't deserve that from me. <laughs> I apologize for that. But I just wanted to demonstrate the difference so that uh, they really contrast um, back to the painting. So when we look at the realistic face, the colors aren't that vibrant. We often get a lot of different shades of yellow, blue, red, green and grey. As unpleasant as it may look, uh, that's the way it is. For example, there is often a distinct red colouring on the nose and cheeks and there might be some blue circles around the eyes. You can see the various wrinkles, the creases in the skin, the muscles, the neck strands and so on. In a stylized painting, you can see that the face lacks some of the play of these muscles. The eyes are much enlarged, the eyebrows are emphasized and narrowly shaped, the nose is narrow or sometimes completely suppressed, the lips are enlarged, the chin is narrow, the ears are smaller. The color palette uh, itself is uh, much more vibrant, using a lot of rich tones. There is often dramatic light. In my painting from the side, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the color palette uses a lot of warm tones for the highlights, so you can see it goes from blue to warmer purple on the hair. The brushwork itself is flowing, minimal texture. Hair has volume, skin tends to be perfectly smooth. Obviously, there are many more hairs to spend on this painting of mine here, but hopefully it at least gives a little hint of what it will look like in its final form where the skin is completely smoothed out with no imperfections. Of course, there are many ways to depict a stylized body. It depends on each artist or the style they have or want to pursue. For example, the body can be even more stylized, the waist can be extremely narrowed, the head can be huge on a smaller body. It can be done in a style like famous animated films, computer games, anime or manga use. Whatever you can think of, there are plenty of these styles you can go with, or you can work on your own, which I think is the best way to go. Thank you very much for watching the video to the end. If you liked the video, please like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss the next video. If you want to know more secret tips that will make you paint like a pro or just want to support me, then join my Patreon. You can see the link on the screen. And if you like to decorate your own with some of my paintings, you can buy them from my website, whose address is also in the video. I will be looking forward to seeing you eventually. See you later!